So after we have uh, planned on code diagnostic, then we will go for uh, cares and we synergize to make the tooth. So the guide is made, so I'm going to turn it off and I'm going to turn off that tooth for positioning. And now I'm going to switch to cares. And in cares, we will start the case by pressing this one. And then we go to the synergy order. And it takes a little bit of time. Okay, we are in synergy. And the tooth here that we planned was number 20. And we entered the name. And and I'm gonna call it JW to preserve the uh, anonymity of the patient. And I am going to uh, route the order. I hope it will work with the JW, but we will see. Now by routing the order, it moves it to the next level and it's gonna take time. And now it did, so now we go to importing the STL okay now you can see GW here and I drop it in here now here I'm gonna look for the arch and I am going to look for desktop And again, for anonymity, I, I put it in desktop, JW, upper, and I reconfirm, sorry, not the upper, <laughs> uh, sorry, the lower, okay. And now we press OK, and now it will ask me to adjust the uh, vertical axis. <clears throat> and it's oriented on the mandibular I press OK and then it gives me the curve doesn't matter how many times you do that it will always mess it up like this so you bring back this down to here and this one to here and now you press on the white check mark and it puts it in position now it gives me the synergy abutment and that is the synergy abutment so you put this in position and you press ok and now you have it are you finished yes so we will move forward Okay, now I, I go to uh, the CAT station. It's loading up. CAT station, this is where you design the tooth. So it's three points. You start a case, you import the scan, then you go to the CAT station. CAT station we are in now. It's confirmed that this is the patient. And I drop it in here. And now automatically it drops it to me some reason it put it buccal and lingual uh, 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 upside down but that's fine we're not going to waste time on this now we're going to press on the tooth and i am going to call for synergy i'm going to connect with the code diagnostic and now i pick me as the and now it's connecting once this is done i go back to code diagnostic and now I'm in code diagnostic I go to this dialog here I open it and I say connect and it's connecting as you see now it's gonna ask you to align meaning that 
that thing that we have here, the STL, to the lower jaw. I'm going to go yes. And now we pick points, correlated points, and correlated points. It turns green that we, we have successfully adapted the two together. We close it. And now we have them merged. We press finish. And now automatically here, you start seeing the tooth of the synergy. So now we go back to CARES, and in CARES automatically already is telling us what kind of abutment we're looking for. We go down to value base because they haven't done one uh, for the temporary cylinders. So we're really having a variety here of variable. So it's okay, it's fixable in the in surgery because it's sad to use a value base, which is a final abutment to do a uh, temporary. And actually it's not good because it breaks off. So it's a long list, so you can be patient or you can drag it down and then work your way back. there value base and here we are using the RC so we're gonna go down to RC this is for the BLX RB we're not touching that that's the RC and we are taking this these are angled solution we don't want the angle solution we're gonna go without the angle solution to this one and now when this is picked I press OK and forget about the warning and now the second step would be to pick what we are doing and we are doing a full crown on implants okay so now we have the tooth in place I'm going to go to the uh, uh, the management of the tooth. You can see how, first of all, the position of the, the implant is perfectly centered. But I'm going to rotate that too because it is not the right place. Okay. And that's fine. It's going to turn all red. Don't, don't worry about it. It's not going to happen. Nothing is going to happen to it. So now we're going to start looking at the positioning and we're gonna align it properly. So I'm gonna turn it like that to match the rest. And I'm gonna look at it here and see already it's connected to the implant. So you can see there's not much of adjustments needed. Uh, so we wanna make sure that it is into the soft, uh, into the uh, uh, margin and so i go for the next one now and this is, shows me if the margin is high you can see the margin of the neck is way too high so we're going to bring it down and here this is correct and we're going to fix this one here and we're going to fix this one here as well as here this is correct so now the second is we're going to make it thinner in here. All right. And we're going to bring this down. As you see, and this is in occlusion, so I don't want it in occlusion. So I'm going to bring this down. And bring this down. And bring this down. Again, bring this down. Bring this down and bring this down again we don't want it in occlusion because we are immediately temporary loading it 
Like this. Again, what I'm doing is I'm bringing down to a closer surface to take the the and here I'm fixing also the buckle so it's a little bit uh, forward. Mm -hmm. and you can see we are way off occlusion now. And and again, you know, once you get used to it, it's very fast. It's not that complicated. Now I'm looking at it from the back room. Again, this is almost done. Okay, perfect. And now we can turn off this and we can see the design of it that is done. Now we can do the sub contour if we want. I always like to thin it on the proximal. It will reduce the work clinically and this is fine and this is fine and i'm just gonna put back the model one double check everything all right so Now there is other options, these. This is you can smooth the surface. And you know by smoothing you can flatten. As you can see, I want to flatten. I want the less amount of occlusion possible. Okay. And here I want to make close the side also as amenable as possible okay and you can be OCD and spend a lot of time on it it's up to you and I just want to remind you this is a temporary surgical temporary and not final and these are the undercuts with the teeth next door. So if you reduce them, it would be much better for the joining or for the insertion. And here, I'm gonna go back to the points. And I see that this contact here can be reinforced a little bit. There you go. And that is done. So now I'm gonna close it here. And I'm gonna go back to diagnostic and I'm gonna take a look at the emergence so you can see the emergence it is perfect it's not touching the bone and this is perfect here you know I can thin it a little bit uh, because it's touching the bone here here you can see there is no contact so I'm gonna go back to this and I'm gonna flatten it very quickly mm -hmm. it's here all right Okay, so as you see, this is done. I'm gonna press OK again. And before I am gonna call it done, 
and we're gonna smooth it a little bit. Now that I made those uh, concavities, just to make your pen happy. I don't want them to catch black, that's why I don't like them. Mm, voila. Yep, okay. You press OK, it will synergize automatically with the code diagnostic. Now I'm going to put back the model to take a last look. Okay. Looking good. Let's go to code diagnostic and do the last verification. You see the little bit of adjustment how I created this dent now, and that is ready. So now uh, all I have to do is I go to the surgical guide. I am going to <clears throat> pay for it. So I do export. Make Stroman happy. Spend $50. Okay. Yes. Export. And this is it. This is the payment you press. And now it drops it in here. I save it. And again, for trying to protect the, the privacy of everybody. And apply this is done so the guide is done now why I did that because that's how I can move forward with my with to export this tooth in STL um, again uh, you know I, like I said you don't have to go crazy here <clears throat> but uh, this one here can handle a little bit of adjustment oh. Okay, trying to make a contact point, most probably in surgery, we will remove it, but nevertheless. Now, I go to that, once I do that, that's it. So, if you're sure, yes. It's merging the prosthetic, it gives you that warning from the beginning that we got. We say, okay, you're finished with the current design, yes and it disconnects and it moves me to the manufacturing order <clears throat> and there we go give it a few seconds now it is here the question here i press local production and after we do local production i press again and retrieve manufacturing file it tells me stl non-oriented okay and it's gonna drop it i'm gonna drop it here in desktop uh, and there you go and that's it the whole case is done and thank you for your attention